Hey everyone, this is Nitro. In this video, I am going to be doing Ariane Rod's 5 Gates of Fate. So my Ariane Rod is at 4 stars at this time. She has only one class, her holy class at this point, and it's only at 2 out of 4 class mastery. So she's not complete yet because I have to finish up this class and then go into the warrior and then lance maiden classes to unlock the rest of the skills. Equipment wise, I pretty much just stole what equipment I can from other characters. The Overlord's Badge and the Ragnarok just came from Ulti Muller for now. You know, the Fury of Tear, I think, and the Giant's Resolve, both were just items I have sitting in my bag at this time because they were previously assigned to Deedlet in, in her infantry class. That's why they both have int increases rather than attack. But I'm not going to change those enchants. So it's a breeze set, you know, just whatever I have for now just to finish off her Gates of Fate. In terms of bonding, I actually have her fully bonded except for her fourth bond, which is not unlocked because I haven't gotten her Lancer class yet. So full heart bond, full attack bond, you know, full first three bonds. Okay, so with that all mentioned, let's begin and get her Gates of Fate completed. So we'll start with the first one. Feet. No one from your team was killed. Send two or less heroes into battle. And the plot is brilliant and absolute strength descend from the sky. The steel maiden has arrived. I don't think their plot battles have any storyline because they're just characters from... Uh... One, two, three. Okay, yeah, so this is fine. Yeah, so there is no storyline because these are collab characters, so I guess apparently they're not allowed to do storyline missions or something. I don't know why they don't. In any case, so two characters, Lena and Ariane Rod. Let's just get started. Let's see how long this the five gates of fate will take, actually. I'm rather curious. So a simple heaven sanction from Lena will wipe them all out. Clearing the first battle. Instantaneously. No one from your team was killed. Send two or less heroes into battle. Five more Ariane Rod shards. Battle number two. There's no feats. Distant streets. Defeat all enemies. So this should be a quick clear. Okay, so Lana can take out one side, Shafiniel can take out the other, and then we'll be done. If I can find where my Shafiniel is. Oh, she's actually advanced. She's a bit ahead of my other character now. I think that's it, right? Yeah. Let's just give this a shot. Heaven Sanction. On the left. Down goes all these enemies. Lana, Heaven Sanction. On the right. Down goes all these enemies. Rachel can work too, right? She has Runic Void. Maya can work if you have Maya built. They all have these big AoEs that target self and have extreme range. Alright, so battle number two complete. Moving on. The third battle, a woman's power. Even on the continent of Alsalia, one can find heroines like this. Defeat four enemies from two turns, Titanic Might, force their hand, win the battle in four rounds. No limitations on characters that you bring and so on. Oh, you only get two anyways. Okay, interesting. Liana's up in the top left. And there's only four enemies that I see. Alright, so let's just begin and get started. Target. And I'll start with, as usual, a Heaven Sanction. That should instantly wipe them out. <laughs> Is there any other enemies? There aren't. Okay. So I guess I'll have to wait. What else am I supposed to do? I've already defeated all the enemies. There we go. Hmm? They finally spawn. Took them a while. So, this from Danger Zone. I'll wait for them to approach because 
I'm just. I couldn't hit them. But now I can. And another heavy ascension. Down they go. That's it. Okay, whatever. Defeat four enemies within two turns. Win the battle in four rounds. Five more Ariane Rod shards. Next, the hidden blade. The brighter your light, the darker the shadow behind you. Once again, defeat all enemies, no limitations on because there's no feats. Oh. Alright, so this one's a little bit more annoying, I guess, with the way the characters are spread out. But I believe if I run Rachel, this should not be an issue. So let's give this a shot. And I will have Landius just faction buff at the start because he's expected to kill off this Hellhound. And then why don't I have Rachel, Runic Void here to hit these three because she's gotten the faction buff, should be enough to one-shot them. Yep. Over here, I guess I'll have Shefaniel move up and faction buff my Lana. Not, I actually don't think I actually need the faction buff to one-shot these guys because I think they're level 45 or so, right? Yeah, they're level 40 actually. But in any case... Nearly done. Oops, I actually moved Arianrod into range. So I made this battle take a little bit longer. Otherwise, it would have attacked Shafaniel and killed itself. It's okay. It's just one extra turn, or even part of an extra turn. Quickly cleared. And then finally, the last battle, the End of Darkness. Feats here is defeat the vampire within three turns and no one on your team was killed. Here we go. Actually, let me quickly go back for a second. Sorry. How it, like... The reason I can do extra runs right now is we see right here, I have plus eight challenges. So the reason I have those plus eight challenges is because I have those wheels of fate. Where are they? Here we go. So each Wheel of Fate grants you one additional challenge chance, and plus I can work my way through these extra battles. I'm not going to use these Wheels of Fate very often. I think I'll hold on to them for now. Just whenever I get a new character, for example, and I want to do five runs on the first day, I'm definitely going to use two of these wheels. But other than that, we'll wait and see. I don't think there's a rush to use the wheels, whereas getting characters rapidly unlocked, there is a rush for that. Okay. So, Vampire, defeat in three turns, that's the main thing. Okay, so where is the Vampire? Oh, right there, in the front. Hmm. You only have three characters, once again. That should be fine. Yeah, that should begin. And defeat here is Arian Rod or the Allied Army is defeated. So I'll start. I think by moving and fashion buffing with Shavino. And then if I have in sanction here, that does wipe out those three. So let's do it. Oh, I get to control these. That's nice. So if it moves three, it can also attack at three range. So leaving her here is okay. And I think I'll 
activate Spirit Unification. Don't know if I'm actually going to use him, but you know. Let's just place the Steel Maiden right here to protect my Shafinio. Perfect. So that's what I needed for him to come forward. Okay. Holy Class against Demon instantly wipes it out. And then it's just an easy clear. For example, if I have Lena, single target strike, the vampire, down it goes. And Shafaniel, if she just tosses out the Heaven Sanction here, down goes all these enemies. Alright. That's it. Super easy. Like, super easy. And now I do have 65 area and route shards, so... She's going to hit 5 stars pretty soon, but the problem then will be raising her up to 6 stars. But there we have it. Quick clears on all her gates of fate. Thanks for watching everyone. Hope you found this video useful. Nitro out.